They're going to have fringe women's B coming up here, closing out the women's races, uh, so we can at least have a full slate there. The buggy is Baltic. The driver is Melina Imamura. Hill one, Rachel Yuan. Hill two, Olivia Corodi. Hill three, Susanna Britton. Hill four, Tanvi Bargava. And hill five, Rita Piaxa. Doing a classic float right there. I don't see any wheel cover on ah, the, like they got uh, outside of that buggy. Just take those things off. Yeah. We're well, not going to risk it. Well, they Secret may not CBD. have gotten it back yet. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get it back. They kept the other one on. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's just sad. And here we are. Reroll re underway for Fringe B. Hoping to get to a day two time. What do they need for that? What's they the... need to beat a 303-19. That would knock Apex A out of day two. Totally doable. For a B team? Definitely doable. Yeah, their the disadvantage here is that, that they're not racing somebody up the hill. Right. So the pressure of someone mm -hmm. running next to you is, is not there. Pretty good transition, though. I like that. There's also pacing rules keeping somebody from racing with them as well. Mark's going to pace them around the track. Yeah, well, you saw, you, there's still a divot on Hill 5 last time I pushed. <laughs> the, the SD's pothole. I just love that Mark face planting while pushing that buggy is now a GIF. It's the GIF. Oh, it's so awesome. Yeah. I, I, I met the new Sigma New Chairman. He goes, he goes, are you going to push along? I'm like, I don't think so. He goes, well, yeah, we've all seen that. We've all seen <laughs> the, the GIF. GIF. We've all seen the GIF. And they're looking pretty good here in free roll. Coming up to that stop sign right around a minute, a uh, minute 12 there. It's That's in close. line. It's going to be tight to see if they can make the day two. Yep. Yep. So taking the upper transition flag. There uh, we go. You know, that, that paint in that area it may look like just lines. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. It's rough. It does run some interference on those lines. So, nice turn in. Pretty solid. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful shoot turn. Wonderful. Yeah, so you have to wonder what aerodynamic effects not having that cover have, because it's suddenly now you have a sort of a gaping hole in the side of your buggy, but uh, we'll see. It's an interesting approach to picking up, coming yeah. clear across the road to get it. Mm -hmm. That's how she measures the angle, right? I'm also not good at trigonometry, so. <laughs> it could be that she knew exactly where it was going. Yeah. What does it look like? She nailed it. Mm -hmm. So here we are. It's not weird technique if it works. Oh, it's got to be, be about close. sub one minute here to get to day two. This is gonna it's going to be tight. The time to beat again is a 303.19. That's where Apex is sitting in 10th place right now. So the question is, is Fringe B going to have a top 10 time? Move on to potentially tomorrow or if these are the final standings. Hill 5 warming up. Eight eight They're going to be right at three minutes. It should be. I mean, that's up to this girl and how well she can do. She can do a sub 30 second. It's in there. So let's see. She's trucking with it. No pressure or nothing. Oh, she certainly looks like she's running with the jogging. So I'm <laughs> she's, got, that she's got it. She's got the tape around the knee. She knows what she's doing. Oh, Crossover 250. Oh. And it pivots. Oh, this oh, is going to be so tight. close. And on the push bar. Well 257, done. 19. There you go. That actually, that moves probably up into about eighth place. I think that's going to top Pika B by about half a second. Uh, nice, so nice, nice job. job. Nice job. It's, it's hard to get organized for a reroll sometimes, so it's excellent work by friends to get that done. 